Welcome. In this short tutorial video, we're going to look at how to insert and remove rows and columns using Google Sheets. There are two main ways to do this that we're going to look at. The first way is to do it from within the body of the spreadsheet. To add an additional column, we can select a column from the existing spreadsheet and then right click on it. Then we can see here that we get these options to insert a column to the left of this column that we have selected or one to the right that we have selected. So let's go ahead and insert one to the left. And what that will do is it will put a column in here to the left and push everything including any formulas that you have over to the right. So if we want to delete it, the process is very similar. We can go ahead and again select that column, right click it, and then we should have the option to just delete column and it will shift everything back over the way we just had it. The process for adding a row is very similar. We're going to come over here to the left and we're going to go ahead and select row. We'll select row 3 and then right click on that row and here we can see that we have some options to either insert one above or below. So we'll go ahead and insert a row above this. Again just like it did when we inserted a column it's going to push all of that information down one one row. Um, deleting it, very similar. We're going to come over here, click on this, right click on the row, and then click de delete row. So now that we've seen that, um, what we get through this insert menu option is pretty similar. So again, I'll start with this B column selected. If I come up here and click insert, since I have that column selected, I have the option of adding a column to the left or a column to the right. So we'll go ahead and add another column to the left again. Um, and We'll come in here and delete that. And additionally, if I were to have a row selected and click insert, I have the option of adding a row above or a row below. So add a row below, then delete that. It's also worth noting that if you only have one cell selected and you come up here to the insert menu, um, we have the option of adding either a row or a column because we only have one cell selected. So we could add a row below and then we could also come here and say I want to insert a column left as well. And so we could do both of those things using the insert menu. Um, well this has been a short introduction of how to insert and remove rows and columns in Google Sheets. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.